Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. It's about 11.20 a.m. here along the West Coast in California. Latest earthquake shows, uh, looks like a two-pointer out here into the Turkey area. Still seeing a broad region of earthquake uptick here across the Mediterranean regions and areas north. Uh, we'll get into that here in just a little bit. First, I want to jump into, uh, well, so somewhat of a surprise solar weather event. Uh, we kicked up into the G3 category last night, G3 class storm, sparking some roars down into Montana and other northern tier states here. Uh, this is due to a uh, crack in the magnetosphere, allowing quite a bit of solar wind stream to flow in. I was just checking out the uh, real-time solar wind here. There is the BZ component tilting south here, allowing a lot of the solar charged particles to flow in and create these aurora conditions. Uh, we did have a little bit of a density uptick here about that time, uh, but nothing drastic. Uh, it just all depends on the uh, current uh, conditions there with the magnetosphere and the BTBZ component. And again, that was pointing south, allowing quite a bit of auroras at the higher latitudes and mid latitudes uh, earlier this morning um, surprise geomagnetic storm the forecast did not call for this but occasionally you know what things happen right early morning hours here March 23rd a crack opened in Earth's magnetic field and stayed open for more than eight hours so we had that uh, huge gap fueled up a, a g3 class storm nothing big uh, this is just the typical areas that could see some auroras uh, illinois and oregon northern oregon uh, typically 50 degrees uh, geomagnetic latitude there so either way kind of cool uh, we are still expecting uh, the arrival of some solar wind speed from the coronal hole that's been facing us for a couple days now uh, that is forecasted for the utc time of march 24th the detailed forecast here calls it arriving between zero and 600 and um, that's going to be let's see when is that going to be here <clears throat> a little bit later tonight because uh, it's currently 1805 utc time on the 23rd so later tonight look for a uh, potential amplification of the auroras at the higher and possibly mid latitudes here throughout the evening tonight so keep that in mind again this wasn't forecasted at all as uh, far as a g3 storm right now and early this morning but uh, tonight's is so we'll continue to watch that and uh, see how that plays out for the uh, solar weather folks there that enjoy watching the auroras uh, not the best timing here for the states this morning as we did have uh, a lot of the area just coming up in the sunrise it's still currently going on here across portions of uh, russia europe area and it looks like coming into the uh, greenland area as well as iceland so um yeah pretty cool pretty neat looking um in terms of the potential it's way up there so get outside if you're in those regions Iceland, again, just coming in to the Iceland area right now, so keep your eyes open as it gets dark. Still a little bit light out there, according to the uh, shadow here of the uh, um, feature. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, all right, so solar flare, there's the uh, KP index right here, by the way, kicked up to a G3 class storm, which is KP index of 7, as noted. Pretty cool. Again, not forecasted, but uh, we'll see what happens tonight with the arrival of that uh, solar wind speed there from the coronal hole. Looking at the magnetic structure here of the sunspot, uh, well, we don't have a lot of potential here for any flaring. Uh, nothing really drastic that I can see here across any of these regional sunspots. They're just kind of there. And, um, you know, really, I don't even see anything that's noteworthy to point out today. As uh, far as flaring activity, solar flaring activity, 95% chance of a sea flare, but we're pretty neutral. We're even below the sea flare category. Uh, this activity we're seeing right now is not in relation to any solar flaring or any CME that has, has been produced by a, by a uh, flare. 
uh, but more so just in the geomagnetic uh, structure of our magnetosphere, allowing that uh, typical solar wind speed to flow in. Uh, it should be interesting tonight to see how this plays out with the arrival from the um, uh, that those charged particles from the uh, coronal hole there. But far as flaring goes right now, everything's neutral. We're below the sea flare category. Still calling for a 95% chance for a sea flare and flare. 10% um, chance X flare, 1%, but that's highly unlikely as they all look fairly stable and neutral in terms of the magnetic structure that the sunspots harbor. All right, moving on to earthquake activity. What do we got going on out here around the globe? Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and check out the West Coast here first, real quick. See what's going on into the or or the uh, Washington region. Uh, still seeing a little bit of activity across this area here around the Northern Cascades. Also outside of Victoria, Oak Bay, Canada, seeing a 2.6 early this morning, 21 kilometers deep. A little scattered microquake activity across the Mount Rainier area as well. Northern California, noticing a little line of activity here across the. Uh, well, it's on the North American side of the plate boundary uh, from about the San Andreas Fault uh, and stretching into some of these other faults around the bay. <coughs> Excuse me, nothing major going on, uh, but still a little bit of uptick. Noticeable today, 2.5 and above. Does show some of that movement. Uh, we did have a 3.4 coming in yesterday and also a 2.5. So the majority of this uptick that we're seeing today, uh, all microquake, but a little bit noticeable. Uh, uptick across a broad region into Southern California. Looks about the same as yesterday. No major swarms. A little bit of activity on the southern end here of the Elsinore Fault System that stretches down here towards Mexicali. Uh, but overall, seismic activity. Uh, looks like a typical day there. All right. I had to mute, mute the button there for a second. <laughs> Goodness. Um, right, Nevada, Utah, and Wyoming starting to get a little trail of activity stretching up here into the area. Also, outside of the Bighorn Mountains there in Wyoming near Shell, a 2.8 coming in about 10 kilometers deep or so. A little scattered activity across Yellowstone uh, this morning. So let's see what we got here for Yellowstone earthquake activity. There's that two-pointer uh, that we've seen around the Bighorn Mountains showing up here along the eastern edge of all the seismograph stations there at Yellowstone. Uh, but far as earthquake activity, it looks like a little small microquake movement overnight near the Mary Lake area, centered uh, around the uh, caldera here of the Yellowstone supervolcano. But that's about it there. Not uh, Nothing major going on there. <clears throat> all right, uh, Oklahoma. North of Stillwater, it looks like, uh, outside of Pawnee area couple small quakes from yesterday. doesn't look like there's anything major going on here today. Um, eastern portion of the country, pretty quiet as well. South America region, let's see what we got here. Alrighty, let's see South America. Some fours kicking off this morning. Some of this activity in the red rings indicated of some older movement. Uh, notice we're lacking activity here across the Middle America Trench today. Nothing coming in. Uh, kind of looks as though, uh, with the relief, relief of activity out here along the West Coast and adjacent plates, uh, even down here in South America, these couple, these two rings here uh, from today, uh, most of this activity from yesterday, it looks like the momentum here and the pressure gradients are wanting to shift uh, back to the south and west here uh, with a pretty good cluster of quakes up against the Philippines area and the uh, right around the Maluka and the Banda Sea Indonesia area all shown quite an uptick uh, in threes today and fairly recent so continue to watch out possibly for some further movement <clears throat> looking at the uh, New Zealand area I've got a couple threes down there I believe some of those were from last night uh, let's check that out here real quick see what the GeoNet servers are reporting 3.2 just outside of the Wellington region North Island uh, there's another one, 3.1 about six hours ago, 2.7 yesterday. Uh, looks as though some of that activity wants to shift down a little bit further south here towards the South Island area, the south of Wellington. Uh, so we can keep keep an eye on that area. 
Um, let me check the uh, earthquake drums here and see if we can spot any specific areas that may be showing uptick. There's some of those threes over the last 24 hours. Um, let's see what we got here. Doesn't look like anything major going on. Not seeing any major, in major intense swarm. Uh, at least as far as the earthquake drums go, the volcanic drums. <clears throat> uh, things kind of calming down up here. Notice up around the uh, Terrawera volcano area, Mount Terrawera. Um, that uh, looks a lot less active here today compared to previous days. So things may be um, about ready to end there. But again, noticing just a slight uptick in uh, the momentum and the direction of the quakes here kind of tilting down south from this area up around the wellington area of course that plate boundary runs right through the uh, north and west side of the south island new zealand area the alpine fault down here gotta watch this area as well uh, that could be showing some uptick here soon all right uh, let's see what else we have across the area um nothing going on up here across the kurokamachaka trench still the Izu Mariana Trench, Mariana Islands, all looks um, fairly quiet. Alaska, 1.7 up here, along with some other smaller quakes. i um, not seeing anything out of the norm. Just very typical movement across the area. A little bit of movement, uh, looks like, around this volcano again today. Um, let's see here. doesn't look like any intense warmth. Got about 13 earthquakes listed up there. Um, let's see what else we got here across the area of Afghanistan. Most of these here from yesterday. Of course, we had that 5.9 up here in the Tajikistan, Tajikistan area. Not a whole lot of newer activity to report there today. Across Turkey, though, things kind of ramping up yesterday and today. The latest one, a 4.9. Central Turkey at about 10 kilometers deep course listed here on the globe many many others i've seen a broad area of earthquake activity here today across the region I'll continue to watch that uh, 3.5 well up north here into the poland area two kilometers deep a few other earthquakes in the vicinity of poland and around the mediterranean here today so looks like it may be starting to uh, pick up in that area uh, today so we'll just keep an eye on things see how it plays out uh, again, a couple areas to watch. We haven't seen anything pop up back here into uh, the Tonga region or Fiji area in a couple days. So this should start showing some movement. I mean, it, not too often does this go quiet for weeks at a time. Um, it does go through a little, little phase of quietness for a couple days and then it really kicks up. Normally in the deeper earthquake department into the Tonga Trench. Uh, but I'm still kind of waiting for some upstream activity uh, on the larger size up here around the Tonga and the Kermadec Trench. All right, let's see what else do we have here. Um, I'm trying to think here. Space weather, we checked that. Uh, let's see, anything new on the volcanoes here? Doesn't look like there's anything major. No new updates um, as far as recent activity goes. And Hawaii... Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Kilauea Volcano. No longer. This was put out a couple days ago, by the way. Um, Kilauea is still not erupting. Uh, looks like that eruption halted on the 7th of March based on the lava lake levels and behavior of the crater floor. So it looks as though they lowered uh, the alert level from uh, watch to advisory and the aviation color code from orange to yellow so this was put out a couple days ago due to the uh, declining uh, activity there around the volcanoes on the big island but again this could all change you never know things do kick up quite a bit uh, without notice so continue to watch that and see how that plays out all right folks um i think i'm gonna jump off here and uh, get some schoolwork done i do have some of that uh I got to get done here today, as always. Take care, stay safe, and um, we'll catch you guys back here on the update tonight. Um, and we'll get uh, 
a little bit better view possibly of what's going on with this incoming G2 solar storm. I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Uh, working on the seismograph stations, the live seismos are down. I'm uh, going to get get that back up and running here in just a couple minutes. So hang tight. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight. Have a good one, everyone. Peace out.